What's going on, my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. And if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today, I want to talk about the new exotic from the season pass that turns us into one of those hive boomer knights, letting us repay all those deaths that we've had forever in the game. The X Dyrus new exotic grenade launcher it is arc in our energy slot now this thing like i said turns us into a boomer knight by throwing those nice arc projectiles out and when they hit they actually have the chances to create those nice arc moths that we have also had all that trouble with in some of those end game content like the light blade they just explode wipe out an entire team so we are repaying that favor and kind of covering the perks on this and how it works as well as some possible builds with this because it is pretty endless with possibilities but they did have a nice synergy that came out with the moss keepers wraps which is the exotic arms that you see in the gameplay as well right now for the hunter but like i said it can pair with any of our subclasses as well as any of our just classes titan warlock hunter so let's get into it with its exotic perks so this bad boy, like I said, comes from our seasonal pass for the paid version comes at the first initial level when you get it level one. If you go the free route comes at about 35 on that seasonal pass. So you do have to level it up a little bit if you want to grab it for the free version. But this is the perks that we have on it. So we have a volatile launch with nucleosynthetic magazine. This magazine continuously draws ammo from reserves. The magazine also enables firing arc projectiles that detonate on impact. So it's those little grenades that I was talking about. They even look like the Hive Boomer Knight uh, explosion when it comes out of the gun. The also cool thing about this is you never ever have to reload. So it has one in the magazine and you can just hold the trigger down and it'll continuously shoot because of this nucleosynthetic magazine. Now, the Loyal Moth. Final blows with this weapon create a Loyal Moth. The Moth will seek out nearby targets and detonate, damaging and blinding them. So this with those Moths and that blinding can technically stun Overload Champions as well. So it has a little extra oomph to it in that end game content. I will say damage wise with this, not the best out there, but there is some things on our season pass as well as arc mods that give us that nice surge if you want to do a little bit more damage but this is definitely more of a weapon for ad management and ad clear especially with those luthicent moths that we have and with the pairing of those moth keeper wraps on hunter you will see it gives us a nice little healing aspect as well Finally, we do have hand laid stock for that nice increased stability. Now, Corrupted Nucleus, its exotic perk. This weapon enrages when dealing or taking sustained damage. So we don't even have to be shooting this to become enraged. This increases the rate of fire when enraged. So this does help with the damage output a little bit. If you're doing a yellow bar enemy with continuous shots, you will get that enraged and it'll shoot even faster. Now, the catalyst which i just grinded out got everything done from banshee and the weapon kills to actually have it applied the weapon enrages faster when amplified so it does pair a little bit better with the arc subclass to become amplified faster but on top of that final blows with the weapon make you amplified which does make this weapon a little bit more versatile like i said at the beginning you can use this on any class arc void stasis anything like that and you can become amplified just with the feats which make that proc a little bit faster in our corrupted nucleosynthesis for that sustained damage and the faster fire rate 
So kind of like I said before, this weapon definitely more falls into that add clear base of weapons, not in the DPS or kind of in the middle like Wither Horde can do both. But this right here has the potential to do some pretty awesome things. And like I said, it has the versatility on a couple different builds. I believe you can make this work on a lot of things in my opinion, especially that lower game content might have to be tweaked for GMs but in your raids that we have it is going to be nice for that ad clear in whatever encounter you are going into now like I said it does have a special pairing with these arms right here which I am making a build that's coming out tomorrow this is a little preview for y'all that are watching the video today but with these moth keepers wraps it has the loyal moths damage targets and aid our allies so when we get defeats with the weapon we're creating an arc moth which goes and damage damage blinds targets and then we also have a void moth that is produced that is for us or our fellow allies when it hits us it gives us a void overshield so survivability with these moth keeper wraps and the weapon make it a lot better in my opinion definitely love the synergy of that and it is a cool thing that Bungie has been doing like with necrotic grips and osteostriga the moth keepers with x dyrus right here is also a very great combination for dps in those moths or add clear i should say more in that aspect but it also heals you very very well so in that end game content it has viability in my opinion especially when you pair it with something like the moth keeper wraps but in my head Strand is going to be a very good thing to pair with this so you can suspend enemies, anything like that. Do that DPS, get those arc moths to proc very easily. Obviously, any of our arc subclasses in our warlock, titan, or our hunter is going to be very good with this with that arc synergy because we can even have the weapon itself blind enemies with some of our aspects and fragments depending on the subclass or guardian that you are on hunter titan warlock so this weapon in my personal opinion for the pve realm and for its uniqueness i'm giving it a four out of five very very fun and versatile to use across any subclass really like i've been saying not the greatest for that output of damage which could bring it down to a 3.5 if you are kind of picky about it but me personally find it very very fun to use gonna be using it a lot this season for ad clear kind of feels like an exotic for baron without the wave frame aspect of it because those moths are pretty crazy and create some pretty big arc explosions so like i said hopefully y'all can get this pretty quickly either with the free season pass at level one or the free pass at level 35 grind out that catalyst and get to using those lucent moths to our advantage instead of against us and become that hive of boomer knight and repay all the pain that they have caused us in the turns have tabled so definitely should try this out i personally like it a lot four out of five like i said that might be a little controversial but just my opinion so i appreciate all y'all sticking around hanging out with these videos and the season so far we got a lot a lot more content to come and that's for sure so be on the lookout for that join the discord join the, the youtube channel here hit that subscribe button the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of these videos here in this season and forward and all my socials when i jedi go hit those up i truly truly appreciate the support from me all i will catch you guys in the next one peace